Hey guys, welcome to a new way in video. What are you watching? So what she's doing, I would say, isn't necessarily unique. Quick, ah, Gerald, do something! It's okay. It's dead. So I wore this hair scrunchie in yesterday's, yesterday's video and we were wearing it again today because I am actually am obsessed with it. So I literally planned my outfit around my hair scrunchie. I've never done that before. Do you like weight related vlogs better or do you prefer vlogs just about your day-to-day -day life? Honestly, I don't prefer one over the other. I will say weight related content is a lot easier for me to film because it's a big portion of my life right now. So I like to do a little bit of both. Next question, have you ever lied to us about your weight? Six years ago, I did. I'm gonna put the clip right here. My weight, I wouldn't say I've lied to you guys per se about it, but I definitely haven't been like very into like telling you guys my weight. Um, I'm fluctuating a lot currently with my weight. It's frustrating because I'll do really good at something and then I will mess up and then I'll do really good at something and then I'll mess up. This used to happen to me a lot where I would lose like four pounds and then gain it back. But now currently it's to the point where I gain like, I mean, I lose about 15, 20 pounds and then I gain it back. And that's really bad for me. And I haven't really been 100% honest about that because whenever someone asks me, you know, oh, she's gaining weight or whatever. I always just say I'm losing. I don't know. I, I don't need the backlash at all. I just, I don't want it. I just feel like it's so much safer to just say what people want to hear and what I feel like people will not hate me for. I don't know how to explain it. It's definitely a mistake and I do regret it. I know there's no excuses for it, but I just remember at the time I really wanted to protect myself, my feelings, my mental health. So I thought by not revealing my true weight and how I was doing on my weight loss journey was the right option for me. And I feel like I could have gone about it totally different. Have I lied to you guys since then? No. I don't know, like how could I possibly troll you guys? I'm not that smart. Um, I'm just not, I just don't care. I just don't care. And it feels so good not to care. I know there's been so many rumors about me lying about my weight all because I did it one time six years ago. I understand it's hard to gain people's trust, but you guys have to realize that it was a mistake I made and I have not made that same mistake since. Last question, what is something you noticed that got easier since you've lost so much weight? So I actually noticed really important things have gotten easier. Showering. No, I shower just like everyone else. I do it all myself. So when I clean myself, take off my clothes, take off my bra, take off my panties, then I use a stick to clean myself. <laughs> Except for the vagina and the booty, if you know what I'm saying. Reach my arm in and bend down and grab my because my stomach is in the way. Becky is my caregiver. I'm able to walk outside and enjoy it. Doing the dishes, cleaning around the house, even just cooking. There was a time when I could only walk for a minute. There was a time where I couldn't even stand to cook to chop some zucchini, and now I'm cooking for 30 plus minutes, and I'm like, totally fine. Like, it's so crazy. How not only weight loss can help a body just feel so much better, but like every day actively moving more to build your stamina, it just completely changes everything. It's crazy. I am down over 80 pounds, but I know for a fact, if I was not up moving more, walking, exercising, then my stamina would not be this good. It's Losing weight isn't gonna be the only thing that builds my stamina up. I have to actually be trying to move more and move my body more and get used to those movements because then eventually I'll just be able to do more and more and more. Like I used to be completely like immobile. Like I, it's just hard for me to wrap my head around like the person I used to be. Number two is I get tired doing anything. I get tired doing anything. Even just sometimes I catch myself, even I'm just sitting and I have to take like a really deep breath. Like I just got done walking. I'm like, girl, you didn't do anything. Like All right, so my weigh-in. Ever since Thanksgiving, I I don't know what's happened. My brain is not running on 100%, let's do this. Instead, it's running on like 40%, let's do this, but let's try to get away with ordering tons of takeout. I know this time of year is hard for many people, and like there's always people joking about how they gain weight during the holidays, et cetera, et cetera, and I kind of wanted to break that cycle. And like, I currently am breaking that cycle, but I'm not breaking it in the way that I want to. I'm done, I am done. I want to wake up tomorrow and I want to look like a fucking string bean. I want to be skinny. I want to be skinny. <laughs> but with a mixture of just like a seasonal depression moment, I wasn't taking my meds right for a minute there. I was going through personal things. Just a mixture of so much. I just, I truly keep turning to food and it's making it to where my progress is going super slow. What I think is kind of cool now though, is like my version of overeating now is so drastically different 
to my version of overeating when I was at my heaviest. My version of overeating now is ordering a unhealthy meal from a restaurant. So I've definitely made some, some big changes to what my overeating used to consist of and what my binging used to consist of versus what my overeating and binging looks like now. A big portion of my weight loss has honestly come down to the fact that I do not binge like I used to. And overall, when you look at the bigger picture, I am eating at home a lot more and focusing on calories. I've just had a few people say like, I'm not showing enough of my journey and I'm just talking too much about it. So I want to try to show more of my journey. I'm not really sure what that like entails. So if you guys want to tell me in the comments below, I would love to hear it. Like I genuinely thought that I was showing my journey, but I don't know. I've gotten quite a few people saying that I'm not. Okay. So last Wednesday I weighed 491.4 and today I weighed So that means this week I'm down one pound exactly, and that brings my total weight loss to 82 pounds. I'm not happy with only losing one pound. I'm not. It's just last week I did order takeout a few too many times. There was alcohol involved. I don't really drink alcohol. It's very rare, but I kind of just wanted to feel tipsy. So I did drink some alcohol and I shouldn't be doing those things. Like anything you guys are going to tell me in the comments below about being disappointed in me, I already feel for myself, but probably like 50 million times more than you do. But y'all, every single week I'm coming on here and I am losing weight. The slow weight loss is because no binging, but now I just need to do a little bit better. Like I was like a month ago, I was really, really focused in on like counting calories. And I feel like I need to focus in more on that. So that is it for my weigh in. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. I stopped asking for forgiveness Cause you should know only fools tread with the angels Fear to go, but you keep trying to get too close Save myself by turning into stone So save your judgment cause you just don't know But some things never change, never change, oh